Uh, hi guys. Today uh, the presentation is about Oracle Endeka information discovery. And in today uh, I will basically design a small dashboard. And then I will highlight how we can use a compare feature in Oracle Endeka information discovery. Uh, as we discussed the last time, Endeka is a fantastic analytical tool offered by Oracle. And for more detail about a, how what sort of uh, dashboard we can design, please refer my previous presentation. So today's presentation is focused more on how to use the compare feature in Oracle Endeka information discovery dashboard. So to design, to begin with, let's add a page and give a name, say, see, compare. test one so let's save it now go to the your page and let's add few components in this page and then add the compare component uh, first we have to add a high uh, add a layout so go to the layout template add a layout I want to add two column layout so add it save it once we're done, uh, add few components in your page. So I want to add information discovery component. A uh, component which I want to add is search box. So here you can see we have a layout with the two section. So add a search box. Add a search box in your layout. Add a guided navigation. Now, as I told you last time, Oracle Endeka information discovery has um, three components. We have a studio, we have a Endeka server, and then we have a integration studio. So this part is the studio part. So information integration studio basically load the data into the Endeka server. And then with the help of a studio, we can design our dashboards. So we, we, are, we are talking about only the studio part here. So now add uh, alert in the second section. Add uh, result table. And then add uh, your compare. Please note that compare feature will not work as it is on. It works with the result table. So we are done with our components. Let's close this section and let's configure the result table. Go to the preference. So now I don't want to highlight everything. I just want to highlight the customer part. So just highlight the customer, expand it. And as I told last time, we can lock few columns for our table. So I want to lock customer name, customer number, customer type. Rest of the thing I don't want to lock. So let's go back to display. I want to display 30 records at a time. And then action menu, I want to export my data from the table to the Microsoft Excel. And I want to add the compare feature. Save your, save your setting, go back to your page. Now you can see you have we have a data. So now we have, we have a customer name, customer number, customer type, and these are the fixed column and X is the columns are moving. Now uh, let's go back to the table again. Oh sorry about that. I I somehow selected the alert. Now uh, in, in the action, I can see the compare feature also. Now let's go back to rather, let's go to the compare feature and configure it. So the compare feature is very simple. What we want to compare. I don't want to compare order. I don't, I want to compare for customer. I don't want to compare other or shipping. Now let's, let's this thing highlight this discount part. 
and now save it go back to the full page now what let's see what we want to compare we com want to compare the first record second record the, and this your collapse equate and at and go to uh, select these three records press the compare now if you look into that we are comparing the customer as well as the discount but i don't want to compare the discount i just want to compare the customer feature customer attributes so go back to the config uncheck the discount save your preference go back to your page and if you look into that i i have this thing i i don't i don't see the discount i can only see the customer attributes and here we, we can add the filter to the attributes now we have another feature we can move around this column so this is for your collapse suppose i want to move it to the first so i can just drag it now your eclipse is the first equate is the second i want to move the at and i can do that not only that i can basically lock uh, any of the columns so just i uh, suppose i want to compare everybody with at and i just lock it and now say so, uh, okay this feature will not work let me uh, go back and uh, compare select few more records so i want to compare equate your collapse at and collapse consulting abc business world abc corporate so go back action compare now let's say uh, lock equate i want to compare everybody with equate now this record is locked but rest of the stuff is moving now suppose you want to highlight the differences between the records so we have something called highlight differences so now if you noticed everything which is not matching is highlighted so we we can conf configure this feature go back to preference here here you can see the highlight color which color you want to use i say i want to use the light gray and suppose you want to highlight automatically you can enable this feature save it go back now you can see the system is has highlighted automatically you can lock a record and then you can compare the rest of the stuff if you don't want highlighting either you disable in the auto highlight feature or you can say hide auto similarly you can you move your column up and down suppose you want to see the customer name the first and then you want to see the total number of employees like this so this is how the compare feature work so the compare feature work only with the result table without result table compare feature will not work so this is all about today's presentation i just want to highlight how we can add a compare feature in the dashboard designed for oracle and deca information discovery in case you have any question feel free to email me at s gupta s g u p t a at the rate biz inside incorporate dot com or you can leave a comments in my blog eoracleapps dot blogspot dot com thank you very much